What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 14. Actually going to be 14 plus this time. We haven't done a lot of case reviews for the plus but we're going to start doing a few more. This is going to be the OtterBox Lumen series. Got this at the Apple store. I think it's about 50 bucks. This is going to have the MagSafe edition. So we're going to check it out to see if it's hit or miss for your brand new 14 plus or whenever you got that. All right. Presentation looks good. You got a little branding up top. Very minimalist right there. Back to tell you more details. Doesn't really say draw protection or how much you're getting with it. Usually they do throw that on there if you're getting some big boy protection. So you must not be getting too crazy protection. Let's go and get to it to see if it's a hit or miss for your brand new big boy iPhone 14 Plus. And I gotta say the battery life on this one is incredible. Um, I know there's been a lot of, it's, it's definitely hit or miss in terms of what people think about it, but the battery life is incredible. So this is kind of a weird design. Not gonna be for everybody. You can see the kind of like the two-tone, semi-transparent look to it. Got the unique design on the back of it. You can see the MagSafe right there, brush popping through. Got a little flex to it, I like it. It's very grippy on the sides. I actually like the grip, especially with such a big foam. Transitions from this like hard shell plastic to a nice, super nice grip to it. It's almost like a gel style, but like a little bit thicker. And it actually just feels more sturdy than a lot of the other cases that I've reviewed. So I actually like that a lot. It's very nice and sturdy overall. It has some bend to it. Interior, same material. You get the MagSafe right there. And then you see what you're gonna get. Let's see if there's any type of branding. Maybe on the side, yeah, right there. Very subtle branding from OtterBox. You can't really tell what that is, but actually, again, overall nice looking case. Uh, the red, I think they have a couple of different colors. One with the red one. Should look good against that white um, iPhone 14 Plus. Go and take out the phone. Wipe it down, wipe it down like we do. Let's shine it up real nice for the camera. Looking beautiful. Slap it into place like so, maybe. Tight fit all the way around, boom. All right, that's how it's gonna look. All right, you can check it out. It looks good. What do you think about that design? It's not gonna be for everybody. I can see where um, some people would like it though. I actually love, but I love the way the case feels itself. It's actually got a nice, really nice feel to it grip wise. It's a big phone, but it actually doesn't, it actually gives you an extra grip on the sides, which I appreciate when cases do that. Let's go and check out the camera protection. You can see what kind of camera protection you're gonna get. It looks pretty good all around. Nicely done, nothing crazy, but decent. Let's so go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip. Lip protection looks good. Look at that thick lip on the sides. You can see what they did there. That's actually thick lippage. So they did a great job. That you drop it. You got full edge dash protection except for like that spot right there around the actual notch. Volume up and down. The buttons are okay. I felt clickier and I think they are switched out. They switched out to plastic buttons, but they kind of be, they feel like they're in a little bit too much where some of them are out a little bit more. Maybe that's kind of, it's still clicky enough and they feel decent. They're not using the same material on the sides, but you are getting those clicky buttons. It's just a little bit more pressed than I expected for those plastic buttons. Alert slider, easy access. Let's go and check out the speaker. Cutouts look precise and clean. You got the power button right there or power right there and little OtterBox branding again and then your power. MagSafe, let's go and check it out. I'll have my phone up with very strong, sturdy magnet. There it is. You can see what kind of sturdy you're gonna get. Pretty good. Yeah, look at that, there you go. So yeah, overall I do like this case a lot. Again, the, the design is not gonna be for everybody. I almost wish they would have come out and they probably do. I'll have to check it out if they have a different color for this one or just maybe a, just a actual two-tone color uh, but I do like the semi-transparent. You can still see the Apple logo popping through and it actually looks very clean because you can see it's not cut off at all. So I forgot to mention that. That's actually pretty cool and unique. But overall, I do like this case. You're getting really good protection and it's actually giving you some really nice um, drop protection. Plus, again, it's giving you some superior grip, which I don't see a lot on a lot of phone cases. So I'm gonna call this one a hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit or miss, calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.